what do you think about crypto, especially since Bitcoin just crossed as of this recording, mm -hmm. the 100,000 mark? Yeah. Yeah. So my, my take on crypto is as follows. I think that if we can get financial transactions cost mm -hmm. down to a penny, uh, when that becomes ubiquitous, uh, where, you know, Lightning Network and like competitors come up with something where you don't have to pay the 35 cents, you don't have to pay the two and a half points, that will <laughs> open up the global market in a big way. So I like that part of, of um, I guess that's more blockchain technology rather than crypto per se, but I do, they work in, in tandem because if you can imagine all these people in anywhere from Argentina where the inflation is insane uh, to other countries, they can have a, um, basically a phone, they can have a Telegram account and there's a wallet on there that ties whatever they wanna buy through this Lightning Network, it cost them nothing. They can buy a digital asset for five cents if they want a cool sticker of a JPEG uh, on their phones. It's a virtual sticker. Or if they want to buy uh, something more physical, that's a little bit more expensive. But it's going to allow microtransactions that will just make business explode in a lot of these small businesses and selling digital assets and cool stuff to people all around the world. So that's how I look at it. And from a investments perspective. I think it's a little bit speculative and I would probably, personally, I just put a little bit in there, uh, almost like Las Vegas, you know, where, you know, like, yeah, you know, I talked to this guy and he said, this this could be a good fun coin to, 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 to play with. But my sentiment is the only one coin I feel a little bit more comfortable with is um, uh, Bitcoin because it's not like one person controlling it. You know, I, I, I do have f money in Solana, but Solana is still run by a company. It's run by a CEO, yeah. whereas Bitcoin, it seems like, it, you know, it's it's more of a, a, just more comfortable. That's probably the best way for, for the limited. It's more decentralized. Yeah, it's a little bit more comfortable for me to feel like, hey, that's probably where I will put money and just for storage, because there's a, there's only a set amount of uh, coins that will exist. And, you know, being believing in supply and demand unless governments will shut it down or regulate it further, I think it makes sense that it's going to go up over time. So for me, it's like if I put money in there, it's something that I would maybe let sit for t 10 years, 15 years and not worry whether it's 100 now. <laughs>